Hey folks, welcome to Dr. Charles Parker. Just a quick reminder of one essential point. It's going to be a very short video that everybody should really pay attention to, and that's starting stimulant medications slowly. Can I say it any more slowly than that? The old idea that you can start a medication, a stimulant medication most specifically, based on body size. I've even heard people say that it could be gender, that, that men metabolize faster than women. Don't use any of those macro criteria that may or may not have happened with your Aunt Tilly and stay very, very clear on the lowest possible dose to get started, even for a couple of days to see what happens. My own feeling is it's much better to go slowly and fail based on the fact that it's not working than to crank up a big dose and fail the medication simply because they were overdosed right off the bat. One of the key reasons we need to do this is because the most frequently overlooked point uh, regarding stimulant medications, and this is covered very thoroughly in my book, New ADHD Medication Rules, is metabolism. Everybody has their own biochemical individuality, if you will. Everybody's very, very different in terms of the way they metabolize any medications. Just because they're taking another medication of some kind, like an antidepressant, doesn't mean you can pop on and give them a stimulant with a, a big dose like that. It's not the way to go. Why? Because the metabolism for the dopamine is different than the metabolism for the serotonin. And we've given you several videos that talk about the different types of uh, problems that can occur when stimulant medications are given with selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. So that's a whole another subject. The bottom is slow. How slow? On Vyvanse, on an adult, very frequently, if they've never started medications before and they have any quote-unquote metabolic signs at all, I may even go down to 20 milligrams and use my specific water titration recipe that's going to be listed down below here with a link to the blog post, which is one of my most frequently, continues to be one of my most frequently visited blog posts because people are trying to think, how can I get that medication titrated? How can I get it dosed down smaller than the product came from the pharmaceutical company? And we tell you how to do that in detail in this post. Specifically with Vyvanse, Vyvanse, pardon me, what happens very quickly with Vyvanse is you use a water titration recipe. Please just go to the blog and take a look at it. It's very easy. It, uh, it's a little too lengthy to talk about in this video. Same thing with Adderall. Break it down in a small piece. Take it for at least two days and see what happens. Remember this, about 5 to 7% of the Caucasian population genetically have a smaller pipeline. We talk about this in the 2D6 video. Smaller pipeline, so as a result, a, a dose that would be considered to be an average dose could be just too much and make them toxic. Two other key points that we really want to uh, encourage everybody to go very slowly on, and this is pretty much common sense, Younger children especially, younger children that meet the criteria for needing stimulant medication, you know, in the four, five, six range. Yeah, the uh, a journal, uh, the pardon me, the American Academy of uh, Child and Adolescent Psychiatry doesn't want anybody starting before six. But if they're a danger to themselves or others with their impulsivity, it's a reasonable intervention. But start extremely low is the point. And the other group that needs to be started very low is anybody that has any hint of a history of traumatic brain injury. All those folks are very sensitive. And then all the other metabolic details are covered in that new book, uh, New ADHD Medication Rules. Take a look at it. Connection points down below. Look forward to seeing you over there. Yeah, brain science does create common sense solutions. Yeah. So come on over, take a look at the book, and take a look at the blog post. Thanks for your attention. Have a great day. Talk to you later.